Today I wanted to share some of my unicorn inner soul with you and create a DIY Starbucks unicorn frappuccino because it's pretty much one of the most exciting things of my life. But it's only around for a limited time so I needed to learn how to make it so that I could have it forever. But I think I'm going to need to start hitting up the gym if I'm going to have this frappuccino forever. I'll worry about that part later. Make sure to hit subscribe to join the fam of Courtney's Cuties if you haven't, and let's get into the tutorial DIY craft recipe. All right, cuties, so the first thing that you're gonna need is mango sorbet, because the Starbucks recipe is basically a mango syrup frappuccino. Then you're also going to need milk, and I added this vanilla flavoring syrup to make it extra sweet, and then neon food coloring so you can get that hot pink shade, whipped cream, some blue sour candies, blue icing, and I had to throw in this sparkly shimmery gold unicorn dust just to finish off my drink, of course. Let's do this! Okay, so first scoop a couple scoops of your mango sorbet into your blender cup, then just add a little bit of milk and a big cup of ice. Shout out to McDonald's for the free ice. Went through the drive-thru for that. Then you just want to add a few drops, actually a lot of drops, of hot pink food coloring, especially because the mango sorbet was yellow. Then just add a little bit of the vanilla flavoring syrup and blend that up and you can kind of see the beautiful pink color come to life. You might have to shake it up a bit. Oh yeah. So I thought it was a little too pink so I added a little bit of milk to lighten it and then one drop of blue food coloring just to make it a little bit more magenta like the Starbucks one and I love the color. I thought it was perfect so then I just pop that into the freezer to keep it nice and cool and frappuccino-y. Now we can move on to that blue sour icing that goes around the cup. So just pour out some of your sour candies. I used blue sour punch straws and they were perfect. And just cut them into little pieces. Just be really careful. You can even use a butter knife, but just make sure they're smaller so it's easier for the blender to blend up. Pour in a little bit of that blue icing so that you can mix the two together and basically make the icing sour. And I added a little bit of water as well just so that it was easier to blend in the blender. And voila, the sour icing is coming to life. So once it kind of blends up and looks kind of liquidy like this, just pop that into a Ziploc bag and then throw that into the freezer for about 10 minutes just so that it can harden and become a little bit more solid. Then after you take it out of the freezer, just use scissors to snip off the edge of your Ziploc bag so that you can use it as a piping bag. And as you can see, it's harder than you think to be a Starbucks barista in your own home. So since the syrup decorating wasn't going so great, I just decided to spread it around the whole cup and make it kind of like this paintbrush watercolor effect. And I actually think it turned out pretty cute that way. Then you can take your unicorn pink frap and pour it into your beautiful cup. I love the color so much. Then just top it off with whipped cream. Gotta do it for the gram. Then I just topped it off with some purple sprinkles and of course my unicorn dust that's just gold and shimmery and so shiny and beautiful. Then just gotta get your green Starbucks straw and you're good to go. Next up is the taste test. Baby, And now it's time for the taste test. Let's see what we think. It's so good. Ooh. The blue frosting that I put around the cup still has pieces of the sour punch straws. So I'm getting little chunks of candy, but I kind of like it. Guys, I'm really excited because this tastes so close to the actual one. It has kind of that mango-y flavor, and it definitely has elements of that sweet and sour taste. I'm pretty proud of myself. I think I pulled it off. And now I can be a unicorn for life. 
guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to join the fam, and I'll see you in the next video. Courtney? <laughs> How is it? <laughs>